ladies and gentlemen, I'm Esh, and this is Galacticraft. We're back on the moon base. And today, I think what we were going to do is head to the nether. That's right. I uh, figured, you know, it's about time we go into the nether and explore the immediate vicinity, at the very least, because we, you know, it's a nether portal spawned right next to our base somehow. So we might as well go explore it and then safeguard it and make sure that it's not going to be leaking out uh, baddies to come out here and try to get uh, get crunk with us and so forth. All right, so we're going to go out. We're going to make sure we have a sword. We have a sword. We have armor. We're ready to go, really, aren't we? Uh, we're just going to go out, go around our uh, oxygen producing garden here, and we're going to jump right in. Look at this. I forgot that this thing has actually landed on top of this thing. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna jump in and go. Um, I don't think it's gonna be any different than normal Nether, so don't expect anything too exciting. But if it is like a moon Nether, that'd be the best. Oh, shit. We got ourselves an escaped zombie. Holy shit. He must have escaped into the Nether from the moon. Now he's straight up getting crunk with me. Look at how much damage he takes. Jesus Christ. That's why you don't want to mess with the things that are on the moon. They're so overpowered. Okay. So we are on the nether. It looks just about normal except for that one zombie that somehow got into the nether from our portal. And was waiting for us. Waiting to ambush us. Now, uh, the nether is a little bit different with this mod pack. Like most mod packs, it changes a little bit. It's not quite as different, obviously, as other uh, as other mod packs. The only thing different about this so far that I've seen is that some of the Pikmin have armor. I'm not sure if they're hostile, though. Let's see. Are you hostile? No, not hostile. Good. All right. So if, as long as we don't uh, confront, oh, we found immediately found a freaking Nether fortress. Holy hell! Just keep your distance, Pikmin. I'm not here to uh, front or get fresh with you. I'm here to uh, explore a little bit. Actually, you know what? We, before we get too far away, we need to go back, put up a waypoint so we don't get lost. Because pretty much I'm like I'm pretty much lost at right now as it is. But I think I know the general area of it enough to go back. Now we can use this portal to get some materials if we really need to. Actually, I'm completely lost. Shit. Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I think that we're around this corner over here, aren't we, Pigman? So we came and checked out this Pigman. Pigman. And, uh, I think we had to go around this corner to do so. There it is. Oh, thank God. Alright. Gonna hit M. Gonna go to waypoints. Gonna add waypoint. Going to add portal, oh, nether portal, we're going to make it red and blue for perps, there we go, there's a nether portal waypoint, I don't, we've had issues with waypoints disappearing in between sessions, but uh, this is, it's fine, because all we need it is really for this session, I doubt we're going to be coming back at the nether portal anytime soon after this. I do want to go and explore this fortress, though. Maybe we'll find a blaze spawner and we can get some blaze rods. Not sure why we would need those, but we can get them. Look at this fucking place. This lava rivers are nuts. Okay, we're going to go over here. We're going to set another waypoint for nether fortress. Red and blue. But I'll also... We're gonna make this a little bit weirder. Hmm. There we go. Alright. Now we're gonna block off this lava with something. We probably shouldn't have brought the airlock controllers and stuff with us. But you know what? We did. And now it's a thing we've done. It's too late now. That's what I'm trying to say. God damn it. Lava. Sand. Not the best thing to use. Noted. Should have figured that out. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and use these bricks to block the lava off. And hopefully, 
Yes, it does. It did despawn it. So now we have a safe entrance back and forth from the Nether for Fortress. We can now tell where the exit of the Nether Fortress is, as well as where the entrance is if we need to find it again. This one looks like it's seen better days, if I'm being honest. But it does... Oh, look at this. We get some mushrooms. We'll get some other mush mushrooms here. And we'll find some other things to add to our um, moon garden as well. Some of the nether wart, if we can find some. It grows around the fortresses, so we can check the area around the outside fortress. Look at this place. Oh my god, look at this. Some horse armor. Some really good horse armor, too. We don't have any horses. Who would, who would love to see a horse on a moon? Everybody in the world is the answer to that. Everybody on the planet would love to see a horse on the moon. And I think that's really all that needs to be said. Um, I'm going to put to put some stuff in this that I don't need to replace. Uh, let's see. I think this is actually an illegal wind turbine. Um, it does that. I don't know why. That's an extra one. We don't need that one. I made an extra one. I put it on the roof. And for some reason it came back to my inventory. But also remained on the roof as well so we had two from that and I think that's uh, cheating even though the game broke and did it itself so uh, I'm not I'm a uh, I'm honest I'm honest fun son of a bitch uh, so there's that uh, we do have the armor now so automatically this trip was worthwhile uh, on, but only if we in the future find a horse to take to the moon which could be one of our missions we should take a horse to the moon it should be a thing we do some more mushrooms. Oh, and a wither skeleton. He's going to immediately try to get fresh with me. He's got armor on, which is unnecessary, really. I really hate this mod. Oh, he died pretty quick, though. He died very quick. Just some normal bones. Nothing special about that. Alright, so we, we just uh, killed that disgruntled wither skeleton. No problem. Not one problem at all. And we're on the other side of the uh, area now. There's the entrance up there. We came around in a U shape. And now we're down here on this area. We don't want to fall off. That's for sure. Alright, so we've cleared this wing. We found some mushrooms. We found a chest of horse armor. Which I'm not sure why. I guess it just gives you a reason to actually come to the nether. The nether. Oh, look. Is this the one we just got? Yeah, this is the one. Oh, I confused myself. Okay, and um... It's like a balcony, nice, nice view of the lava lakes of hell. Great. It's like we're in Satan's aims right now. Jesus. All right, and there's another chest here. Oh, look at this, diamonds. Mm. Let's get rid of this stuff. We don't need really a gold ingot. Saddle. Eh. I think all the rest of this we can really just do without. I think I'll take the saddle just in case we find a pig to ride. Alright, oh shit, look at this. Look at this dead end right into death. So we've got two chests. I don't remember there being chests in the old nether fortresses. Maybe they've added them in a new Minecraft version that I haven't played yet. Or maybe this is part of the mod pack. I don't remember which way we went. I think we came down those stairs. So we should go down these stairs and find another chest. Holy hell. We have so much stuff. Look at this nether wart. Oh, I should have not brought this stuff here. Damn it, I should have cleaned my inventory out before we came. Hmm, that's tough. What's that? Do these stack? No, we don't really need another one of these. Uh, we'll take the gold since we keep finding it. Does this stack? No. Shit, man. Alright, we'll lose this. We'll lose this, I guess. Oh my gosh, look at all this treasure. Holy shit. There's so much. There's so much. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these bricks. I don't fucking know. There's so much stuff to. I didn't know there was gonna be so much treasure, guys. I didn't know. I didn't plan for all the loot. All the booty. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Not only did we find the nether wart that was in the treasure chest, we found some actual naturally growing nether wart. I've never actually found any natural growing nether wart in this game the whole time I've played. And I actually have gone on missions to try to find them. Holy crap. 
another iron hoard. What's this one? Diamond? We got one diamond, three gold, and now we have two iron. If I mean if we can find something to replace. What is this? Ten ore. Damn it. I don't want to really sacrifice this, but I guess I will sacrifice the pork chop instead. I don't know why we even would I'm even getting this horse armor. We're never gonna get a horse. We're never gonna have a horse. I'm pretty much sure I'm pretty sure of that. I don't even know why we're gonna need this nether ward. It's only good for potion making, and we're probably almost never gonna make a potion. So, um but it could be good cool to have in our garden, I guess. Uh no. Don't want that flint and steel necessarily. I guess it is cool to have a flint and steel in a chest in the nether because you could then maybe relight a, uh, look at this fucking place. You can relight a, a portal or something that you accidentally blew out because, uh, at some point in my in Minecraft existence I was in the nether doing my thing, you know, just, uh, stealing stuff from chests and all the stuff that you do in the nether. And I was next to the portal fighting a, uh, one of those floaty fucks. Holy shit. I am actually withered now. He did drop something here. What is this? Coal. He just dropped coal. I want that. Um, but anyway, I was fighting a, uh, what are those things called? Puffies? Fluff fluffle puffies? I think that's what they're called. And I was, fl I was fighting one of those fluffy fucks, and uh, they're shooting rocket balls at balls of fire at me, and it, it hit the portal and blew it out. It was still there, the the obsidian was, but the portal actually stopped working. So a, a little service announcement for you guys: don't fight the fluffy fucks next to portals, and if you do, make sure you have a fire thing to light it back up with. At this point, I'm not sure where we've been and where we haven't, but I know I don't think we've done this chest yet. So let's go save the loot. Uh, some more ingots. We're gonna have plenty of gold ingots at this point. I think we've pretty much explored everything worth a shit. It's unfortunate that it doesn't have a area. Oh, look at this. There's one of those fluffy fucks right now. I'm out of here. I have no desire to fight you, Fluffy. No desire. I do have a desire to leave, though, so I'm going to go up here and figure out how to get back over there. Oh, look at this. Actually, there is a uh, lava slime thing. We can get some magma cream from that. I don't know why we would need it. Actually, look at this. Look at these fucking things. Tons. They explode into tons. Let's see if we can find something else to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of any of this good stuff. I mean, the torches I guess we can get rid of. Some magma cream. Here he is up there. There's the culprit of all this destruction. Alright, we need to go over there. So we need to find a stairs up. I shouldn't have got rid of the pork chop because now I'm hungry. Shit, man. I'm lost. I'm lost in the depths of this fortress. I'm, I'm, I'm homesick for our moon base. Which I never thought I would say because it's kind of a ghetto. Um, but I am, actually. I'm very homesick for our moon base. I think we need to go down again. Oh, look at this. Here's some blaze. Oh, I think we might have actually entered hell. We might have been in, like, Hell Minor before, now we're in Hell Major. And I might actually die. Oh, no, I didn't die. Wait. Thank God. Maybe we can find the chest. Maybe we can find the chest that I put Port Chop in. Because I, uh, I don't think it's actually going to help, even if we did find it. Shit, man. Weird. We're getting into a situation here. We have a situation where I might actually be better off just building a stairway. Unfortunately, <laughs> we put all of our bricks in a fucking chest for some stuff that we don't really need and will never use, likely. Simmer down, dude. 
I don't remember where we came from is the problem. I don't... Maybe we did come from down here. Maybe we came from under the stairs, though. Have you ever seen that movie? People Under the Stairs? Oh my god. Scariest fucking movie. I'm, now, granted, I was like a small person. I was a lesser, a lesser being than I am now. Nothing scares me now, obviously. I'm not afraid of anything. Because I'm a, a I'm bearded, brave man. Bearded brave man. And... Nothing scares me, as you as you probably assume by now. We, except for maybe these blazes that are blocking our path. Shit, man. Shit. Okay. Don't panic anyone, everyone, and mostly myself. Talking to myself here. I'm going to mine some of these nether bricks. And hope that the fluffy guy doesn't find out what we're doing. And come over here and try to get, get on... Our, uh, our butts about this. I'm gonna have to get rid of something here. I'm gonna have to get rid of these mushrooms, unfortunately. And pick up these nether bricks. Alright, we're gonna have to make a staircase Our ourselves. Let's do this. This is a very precarious thing, so we don't want to... It's If we hear the, the weird noise that he makes right before he attacks, we have to get down so we don't get knocked off. That will be the worst case scenario at this point. This might be good. This might be a good thing right here. We can just put a little block and then we can carve ourselves a staircase into this pillar. the surface. Now if we can just avoid getting hit by a fireball, stepping in fire or lava, and also getting attacked by something else. One of the numerous things that you can get attacked by in the nether. Then we should be safe to get out of here. Oh, we're, we're going straight for the portal. Well, no no risking it. No more exploring. We're, we're on our deathbed here. We don't want to die. We want to get back to the portal want to get our uh, butts into a safe area on the moon base. We want to make sure the fluffy guy doesn't get uh, our portal blown up before we can get in, which is actually something that could happen because it's real close. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's it going to take? Oh, it took us back to Earth. Well, well, son of a bitch. We're on Earth, and we're actually at the portal next to our base. What a what a day. What a weird day. Okay. We're back at the base. We're at the Earth base next to Earth's anus. What a surprise. Actually, we should have probably expected this. This is something that was probably high on the list of things that would happen. But you know what? It's it's cool because we we have the book set up from Mistcraft that we did a few episodes ago, which has really been super helpful. We don't have to deal with these these teleporters anymore that are wonky and broken half the time. We now have this book we can head back to, but I think we're going to sit on Earth for a little bit and regather our, our our psyche because that was a bit of a traumatic experience, and I don't think we need to store any of the stuff we found on the moon. We can store it in our storage areas here on Earth because when are we? Uh, unless there's some weird, rare, some sort of weird, weird, rare horse, moon horse, uh, which would be awesome, by the way, mod creators, if you're watching, moon horse, get on it. Um, there probably isn't though. So I'm gonna stick all these horse armors and saddles and shit in here. And I think we'll take, put this in here. And we'll also put this in here. We don't have to take the diamonds into the moon and lose them somehow. Alright, so I guess that's another adventure to gone. Um, I think what we can do is probably put like a little fence around with a little gate around that nether portal. Make sure nothing leaks out into our moon. And we should probably do that up here too, so we don't get any like uh, 
bastards on our on the earth as well. So until next time, until our next adventure, you guys please leave a comment below because I'm running out of stuff to really do. Um, do you guys want to see me start saving up really for the space station? Is that something you want to see or if you have another idea for something I should do? Leave a comment, please. I'm begging you. And until next time, play on.